Hi, welcome to the second instalment of the How Drugs Work uh, videos. We've looked at the functional groups present in um, this adrenaline molecule and the functional groups that it's got will influence the binding interactions that will take place between, in this case, it will be uh, to receptor. Again, just be aware of the difference between a receptor and an enzyme receptors do not undergo any chemical change. There's no chemical change uh, when a substrate or a ligand binds to a receptor. When a substrate binds to an enzyme, it's catalyzing a chemical change. So no chemical change occurs in receptors and substrates undergo chemical change when they bind to enzymes. Now, the key binding interactions are between these OHs, which have all got, they all have similar uh, binding interactions and again if you see an OH you should recognize that it's hydrogen bonding um, hydrogen bonding um, can occur when we've got an electronegative atom such as an oxygen or a nitrogen and what we get then is this is a polar bond due to the bigger electronegativity of the oxygen. And we say that the oxygen here is what we call a hydrogen bond acceptor. The hydrogen is known as a hydrogen bond donor. So the hydrogen bond then can form between a hydrogen bond acceptor, such as this oxygen, I'll just, just scribble this out. And that there can hydrogen bond to a neighboring Delta positive hydrogen. Again, this hydrogen has to be then delta positive. This is bonded to usually an O, N or F. I'll just put this to an N, for example. So that there would be an example of hydrogen bonding. Um, here, this hydrogen here is acting again as a hydrogen bond donor. And the oxygen there is acting as a hydrogen bond acceptor. So it's a, a very sort of a, a, one of the stronger electrostatic forces of attraction, these intermolecular forces. So each of these three OHs potentially could undergo hydrogen bonding with the target. The benzene ring is a non-polar part of the molecule and that could form um, hydrophobic interactions and van der Waals forces with uh, the target another non-polar part of the target so this could form a hydrophobic okay the next interaction between the drug and the target or the adrenaline here in the target um you could think there is between the amine now this would appear or it looks like at, at first glance this could be oops this could be uh, hydrogen bonding because what we've got and I'll just put a little question mark there. Because what we've got there is potentially a hydrogen bond donor and a hydrogen bond acceptor. Uh, but you'll see that actually this amine um, can undergo a different type of reaction. So that's the next thing. When we're looking at how drugs work, we've looked at the functional groups. And then by looking at the functional groups, we can look at the type of binding interactions that can occur.